So today we're going to be doing problem solving and we're going to be using Google as a research tool. And I also want to talk quickly about a problem solving model, which is that you identify, you define, you explore, which is Google, you take action, which is meaning you take the answers you got from Google and applying it to your code. And then you look back on the problem and reflect on it. So you will learn something to next time you're going to be either having the same problem or a similar problem. And that way you can become a really good Googler or researcher because when you develop code a lot of the things you are doing is actually googling stuff or using dot dot go or whatever you're using a search engine to find answers now i know there's kind of two types of people on one hand people really like remembering everything and not using google and using man files to solve problems and looking through documentation and then there's the other type of people that are just relying on google or other search engines to find every single answer and uh, that's definitely where I'm most at. Now I don't think anyone is better than the other. I think both are equally as efficient. It's just different ways of solving the problem. But today guys we're going to be taking a look at how I would solve a relatively simple problem and the problem I want to solve today is that I want to write this object out to a file. Now of course I know the answer to this question but I hope that it can still show you how I would do the problem solving. So let's just run the application here. And you can see that we get the object with a property named name and a value of Bob. And we want to save this to a file. So what would I do if I didn't know the answer? Now I would go ahead and go on Google and type how to save a file in Node.js. And just a little tip when you're Googling, a lot of the first answers on Google are ads and sometimes they help you, but most of the time I feel like they don't. Uh, so scroll a little down until you find the real results. Now I could just go ahead and just click enter on the first result, but you will find that when you do more and more Googling that there are some websites which are good for information and some that are bad. And from my experience, W3 School is a really good source for information as is Stack Overflow. So if you see those, definitely pick those first and you will develop a list which you like and definitely go ahead and be aware of that so you can in the future be faster at Googling. But let's just pick the first one here. And I can see that there's a title called File System Module. So we are in the right direction. And down here it also says that you can create files and that is what we wanna do. So scroll down to that part. And here, create files. And I can see that there's a write file command. So that is probably what we want. So let's require in fs. And we just quickly copy this into our code and paste it in. Now, I'm doing this in Node, but you could do this in any programming language, essentially any problem. You could even be trying to fix a part in a car or something like that. So it's kind of the same process. But for me, I'm going to be trying to then search for something. And most libraries, when we're talking about coding, has some kind of auto-completion in your IDE. So you want to definitely use that feature to help you. So you can go ahead and see, we can see all of the different commands here. And this is what I want synchronously right writes data to a file, replacing the file if it's already existing. That is what we want to do. So I'll press enter. And then it actually also says that we can provide the path. So let's provide the path. Let's type data.json. And it then wants either a buffer or some content. So let's just provide our object here. And let's try running the code and we get object object. Well, we're working with FS. So how about copying this error message here and going into Google and typing FS object object and getting the first result here. And we can go ahead and make sure to read this part up here so you can make sure it's the same question as you have. But most of the time I just scroll down, but if you really can't find an answer. Make sure to read that and make sure it's the same problem as you have. And I can see here that this says that it believes that that object should be stringified. So let's try to stringify it and see if that solves the problem. 
and it does. Now, I hope that this little example here showed you how I do problem solving. Now, if you want a part two of this, where I talk more about a specific thing, please comment down below what that thing is and that I should make a part two. Then I would definitely go ahead and do that as well. But what do you do if you want to be a developer and you don't have an internet connection? That's a really valid point. But for most of the world, we have an internet connection. But if you don't, try to find a person that knows a lot about this or get some books. They're not going to be as efficient as Google because Google can index million upon millions of questions. And that's going to, of course, be much more efficient. But if it's all you got, then definitely go ahead and get some books on programming, look through the manuals and go ahead and find people that you can ask questions. But most likely, if you have stumbled upon this video, you have access to an internet connection and therefore you can do problem solving on the web. And guys, one more thing I forgot to say earlier in the video is that if you can't find the answer to a question, feel free to go ahead and ask it on different forms and other YouTube videos. But just keep in mind that you have done your research because else people might become a little annoyed that you didn't do your research if it's like a really simple Google search to find the answer. But most people are going to be nice about it. And just keep in mind, try to solve the problem yourself and then go ahead and ask the question. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully see you in the next one.